Wonderful. But before before we go into learning any more code, I want to make um, I want to show you some uh, something really cool, which is the fact that we have actually in the practice exercises and all the code that we have learned, we have been created console applications. So we have been creating uh, Windows applications that can be run from the console. Um, it's just that we haven't really uh, seen that very explicitly because we were working inside of Visual Studio as a code editor and, and development environment, right? Um, but I want to show you how we are actually creating those applications and how you can actually already share those programs with your friends or with other people who run Windows applications without actually having needing them to run Visual Studio. So how is that going to work? Um, if I go, if we go back to the exercise, uh, to the second practice exercise from this series, where we calculated, where we wrote a small calculator that took a, if you remember, uh, we can take, if we execute this code, it just asks us for a value and then another second value, and then it just spits out a bunch of calculations between those two numbers, right? This is a calculator application that we can run and that we don't need a Visual Studio to actually run. How, why not? Because if I open the actual folder that contains the solution, and remember all these projects are available on our GitHub website, um, on our GitHub repo, uh, if I open the project folder, I can see the main file with the solution, but if I go into the folder, you can see that this is the code, this is the file that contains my, my code, so all the stuff that I wrote, but if you go to the binaries folder, there is this folder called debug that contains an executable file with the name of the project. This is E02 calculator. And if I double click on this file, what do you think is going to happen? Boom, is this console application that we have written so far. So I can execute this console application from my Windows system without having to run Windows uh, Visual Studio on the side. Um, you, this is a debug version because this is the temporary executable that Visual Studio generates anytime you hit start. So every time I hit start here, uh, Visual Studio compiles a new version of this, of this file and then it runs it right away on my screen, right? However, if I were to compile this, for sharing it with other people, instead of compiling a debug version, what I probably want to do is I probably want to compile a release version. The only difference here is that uh, the release version usually is more optimized, it has better performance because it doesn't have all these hooks and all this stuff that Visual Studio adds to a debug development so that it can track things such as memory consumption, the value of variables while the thing is running, etc., etc. So it optimizes that compilation and it makes a smaller file that runs much faster. So if I execute the release file, I get a new, I, I get a new console. Uh, it's asking me like, do you want to blah, blah, blah? No, I don't want to debug anything anymore. Um, and then you can see that in my bin folder, this new folder just showed up called release and release has the calculator file. So this, I can double click and it executes my program again, you know, and some the calculations. I can even just copy paste this and send it to anywhere. So I can put it on my desktop, for example, and you can see that now I have the calculator file in my, in my desktop. And I can even, and, and again, I can run that from, this is on, on my desktop, I can run this file from anywhere without having Visual Studio. So I just double clicked here and it showed up on my screen. I can enter the values, I can execute that, etc. Or even if you're nerdy enough, you can run this application also from an actual real terminal from a console. So for example, I can double click here and open PowerShell, which is typically the, um, which is typically the console application uh, that I run, the terminal that I run. You can see that I'm currently under my desktop folder. So if I type ls, you can see that I have like all the stuff that I have on my desktop right now, including, where is that? Um, uh -huh. Where is, yes, the executable E2 calculator. So here right now, if I start typing E02 and I press the tab key so that it, I hit E2 calculator, 
then instead of opening a new window, what the, the terminal is going to do is that it's going to try to execute that program from the console in which I am currently right now. So I can enter new value, another new value, I perform the calculations, any key to exit, and then boom, I'm already back in my console in my terminal. How cool is that? And how nerdy, huh? So remember, anytime you're actually developing, uh, anytime you are developing console applications in, um, in Visual Studio, there it always generates this one executable file that you can share and that is like standalone. It doesn't require Visual Studio to be executed. It's already a Windows application that you can run by double clicking on it or that you can run from a terminal uh, like I just did. All right. So now you're ready to create programs and share them with your friends or um, use them in your workflows or etc. etc. How cool is that, huh?